Happy Independence Day, everybody. I know that today is July 5th for you. That's when I'm launching this video. However, today for me, it is July 4th because I always record my news stories on the Monday before the Tuesday when I air it. So, Happy Independence Day. Hopefully, everybody was safe, got your drink on, got your firework on, didn't lose any fingers, getting DUIs, that sort of thing. Everyone was safe. On with the news. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about today is going to be this kind of an innovative, you know, built in a garage thing that this guy did. Now, he essentially has made a set of tires that will allow you to not only roll forwards and backwards, but also side to side. It's kind of interesting, and it does, it does definitely have some inherited flaws that I can see uh, as far as reliability and traction on, you know, dirt roads or ice for that matter. I mean, it's basically an inner tube looking thing that. I just don't really see having really any kind of good traction, um, but it's kind of it's an interesting concept. And what's even crazier is that this guy like designed this in his garage. I mean, just using stuff that he had available to him. He did make a statement that he he made it a little bit too slow. Um, I forgot where it was probably in his YouTube comments, but uh, he did make a statement that there was definitely some improvements to be made just right off the bat. But either way, with its flaws. It's a very, very interesting technology and a different take on wheels as we know it. Now, can we have wheels that would be designed to have such a, um, a an inner tube looking setup like this? Probably not, okay, because there's a lot of traction issues, you know. Uh, when you have so little ground, you know, touching or so little tire touching the ground, I mean, you're automatically going to suffer from traction uh, issues. Now, it is double layered as I can see here, but I don't know definitely need some improvement either way it's a fantastic concept and it's an interesting concept that he was able to actually just do from his garage so kind of interesting i will link to that in the in the description so you can check out this full length video if you would like to um, definitely worth looking into now this next segment is kind of cringeworthy uh, but definitely needs to be talked about apple has patented a technology that will use infrared signals to shut down the ability to record or take pictures, record video or take pictures. Now, I understand where they're coming from, mostly. You know, there's like concert areas or, or areas where you're not supposed to, like museums or concerts or whatever, they, you know, they, they really don't want you recording video or taking pictures. And yeah, I kind of understand the concept behind this and why it would be a desired feature by some places. I understand that. But the thing is, and they even touch it on a little bit in this article, where this could be used for other nefarious reasons, like let's say uh, law enforcement for their own protection disable anybody within a thousand feet of them from recording video, right? So, you know, if they want to go off and just beat the hell out of somebody, all they have to do is turn on their anti-record thing on the top of their, their squad car, and then all of a sudden, nobody can catch it on video. You know, and they say it's all for their protection or whatever. I could just, I can see this line of sight going down. Um, or this, this, this train of thought going down where they just find a way to use this to their advantage uh, and restrict people from you know filming and making them uh, or help holding them accountable for their actions when they're not acting the way that they're supposed to. And I'm not anti-cop, don't get this wrong, I'm not anti-cop. But I'm not blind. You see it. You see it happen all the time. All the time you see this happening, you know, whether it's with you know police officers, troopers, or whatever. You see this happening all the time, and thankfully, getting this caught on video is something that's going to help stop it in the future. Get rid of these bad apples, the ones that are ruining the, the good name of the police officer. So, hopefully, if this does get put into place, which it probably won't anytime soon, it's just a patent right now. Hopefully, when it gets, if when and if it gets put into place, it won't be abused by a law enforcement agency of any kind. And I would also be interested to see exactly what the limitations are because this is saying infrared the technology is infrared it uses kind of like a light bulb you know light bulb style infrared blaster that just blasts an area okay so does that mean you can just cover up the infrared sensor with a piece of tape does that disable that I mean I could see that I mean the first thing I would do is take a complete you know a little bit of nail polish and just like polish it the same color as my phone or whatever you know never have to worry about that ever but I don't know. It'd be interesting to see that technology develop, see how they work with that technology. Uh, I could even see them evolving that to different types of communications, you know, where maybe it's a Bluetooth uh, signal or a Wi-Fi signal or something that would, you know, 
not allow it to be blocked by just simply covering the sensor. So, I don't know. Just interesting technology nonetheless. And now I have a tiny camera, a really tiny camera, that can be injected into somebody's body with a standard just needle. And I hate needles. It almost It's almost hard for me to say that. But this, this is crazy. It's like it can have an image. It can make... I mean, but this is crazy. It can go inside the body and it can focus on images from three millimeters and relay them almost 5.6 feet, okay? Just inject it into the body. It allows people to go in. They said they can even go all the way to the brain if they wanted to, but it's 3D printed. Some sections of it are 3D printed. It uses three lens cameras. I mean, this is definitely interesting, something you want to look into, but I think that something like this could really do a lot for the medical field when they need to get in and look at things like, you know, maybe blood clots or, you know, issues with brains or, or whatever. I mean, this could be a huge thing. You know, it's definitely early stages in the technology, but I definitely think it's something that could be useful in the medical field to be able to help, you know, diagnose and treat certain illnesses, especially because of the price, because there's, you know, the way it's created, which is the 3D printer and, and the, the, the tools you do, the tools needed to make it are pretty cheap to have. I mean, I think that's kind of cool. It might just be like an everyday thing. Hey, you got a problem with this? Oh, yeah, looks like that's the problem. So. Interesting technology. Can't wait to see if that actually becomes a thing. Now this is kind of a weird piece. I don't really know. It's called from the Hacker News. It's kind of hit or miss with this website. But basically they're claiming that it's the Android Hacking Group. And I forgot the name. I don't even know if they... Anyways. They're claiming that they make estimated up to half a million dollars a day with malware on Android devices. And it's called Hummer. H-U-M-M-E-R. And basically it affects and installs applications uh, that they make money off of during installation. Now they're saying they make up to 50 cents for every installation. So that's almost $15 million per month. And what's crazy is that they're saying a million devices here, 1 million devices every day are being affected by this malware. And they're making just an astronomical amount of money doing it. That's, that's insane. And they install like applications that they get paid to install. They install like porn applications, things like that. And then it spreads however the heck it spreads. But it's kind of interesting. And it's affecting like India, Indonesia, Turkey, China, and Mexico primarily. They're the top five countries. They said it was made by a firm out of China and or a hacking firm or a hacking group out of China. Um, but it is still here in the United States and it is in Europe. However, it's just primarily in those five places. So kind of something to be able to look on. They say it's almost impossible to get rid of because you can't just reset the factory settings because it's embedded so deeply into the device. I don't know how deep that goes. Like if you completely reflash your phone, if that gets rid of it, I would assume so. However, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Something interesting. I'll link to that article in the description too if you're worried about that. Here's a little spat for Windows 10. Basically Windows 10 and a last ditch effort wants to get more or the last few people upgrade Windows 10 for free. Um, because their their offer expires July 29th, whether that actual will expire on the 29th, I don't know. It's still to be foreseen. They might, you know, expand it or, or extend that. You know, they're just using this as a scare tactic. Either way, it doesn't matter. What right now, what they're doing is a full screen pop up to try to force people into Windows 10. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Now it's not as dubious as some of the previous you know screens that popped up, even though it is more aggressive. You know, as far as taking up a full screen, uh, it does seem to have some relatively easy things to see to say, don't notify me again. Um, whereas the previous ones, it's like you pop up and if you hit X, it just installs it. Sometimes you don't even have to hit X. It's just, you could be sleeping and it pops up and it installs it. So I don't know, kind of interesting. I wanted to bring this up because one, it's like, come on, Microsoft, really? You know, we get it, stop bugging people, but hey, whatever. But two, I kind of wonder, wonder if they're actually going to stop the free upgrade, you know, if you want it, if you want to ensure that you get it, I would definitely say to upgrade before July 29th, uh, just to get it, just to register it. They're actually saying that you can register, you know, the operating system with your Microsoft account online. So when you install it, uh, you can register your operating system. So if you ever want to go back to that, even if you revert back to Windows 7, you will still have that copy registered and licensed to you, so you can go back. Uh, although you probably shouldn't use a Microsoft account to install anyways, use a local account, but that's an entirely different thing. Anyways, if you want to make sure that you have it, you should probably do the upgrade um, and then revert it back to Windows 7 if that's what you're using. 
if you don't want to use it. This is just, you know, in the future, if you think you'll ever want to go to it, I would definitely recommend it. I use it for other reasons, but if, if, they're, if they're not going to extend it and they actually do want to charge people money for it, you know, rather than taking pirating ways and trying to get an illegal copy or whatever, you know, it might just be best just to register your, your license and revert it back if you want to. That way you have it in the future, uh, just in case. This next story is kind of limited in data, um, but it's basically a new tooth filling that they're saying could actually, you know, help rebuild teeth to avoid, you know, having to do root canals. Uh, it uses the tooth's own stem cells to regenerate and repair tissue. Now, it's not like they're not trying to say that you go in there and get a shot and your, tooth, your teeth are all better again. Um, but it does help rebuild some of the, the base, the foundation of your teeth um, that will allow them to do other repairs without having to actually do a root canal. So that's kind of interesting. And then the reason why I find that really interesting because I feel like it's, you know, the baby step in a new technology that hopefully, potentially, could be used to cure all kinds of cavities or whatever in people's teeth. It's like, oh, you have a cavity. Okay, well, we're going to go in here. You know, we're going to clean it out. We're going to drill it out, you know, and then we're going to put some paste in it. And, you know, that paste is, a, is eventually going to consume itself and replace it with actual, you know, tooth tissue or whatever, or tooth material from your body. So, I'm kind of interested to see how that would evolve. Okay, last story. This is kind of interesting. It's more intriguing. I don't know. Check it out. Homemade super-powered laser bazooka. 200 watts of insanity. Yes, 200 watts. This guy in his garage made a 200 watt laser bazooka. Bazooka, bazooka. I said bazooka. Anyways, look how crazy this is. I mean, he has to wear a welder's mask with laser goggles so he doesn't go blind. Because if you shine it and you look at it on the wall, you could damage your eyes or possibly go blind. It's so bright. It's insane. So. I kind of want to see him shine it in the sky, but on the, I know it's probably highly illegal because you could take out an airplane or blind an airplane or ruin an airplane sensor. But they show him like shooting through a computer uh, PC case, the side of a case. They, he goes through and he shines it through, you know, boards and cardboards and like wood. And, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty insane. I definitely recommend watching the video just because it's interesting. The guy, he starts the video off by saying he compares it with the power of other lasers, like a standard handheld laser, I think he said it was 0 0.05 watts. Um, another laser was 0.5 watts, whereas his is 200 watts, made out of spare parts. Kind of interesting that you could do that in your garage. Not really completely surprised because there's some freaking smart people out there. Totally not one of them, but it's really interesting that he can do this in his garage, and the things you can do with this are probably illegal, most of them. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe below, and have a good day.